Welcome to the Bark, the Bulldog Bark. My name is Zoe King Davis. Don't miss United Harmony tonight at 7 p.m. in the pack. Need to make up absences? Make up hours are tripled this Saturday from 9 to 12. Seniors, three new scholarships were posted this week. Don't forget to check them out. Also, all seniors must return library books by May 15th. A huge shout out to our Stuco for being awarded the National Council of Excellence. Prom tickets are still on sale and don't let not having a dress stop you. Here's Rayleigh with the Bulldog Boutique. All RCHS senior girls, important information coming up. The RCHS Bulldog Boutique is coming your way. What is the Bulldog Boutique? Starting April 19th, students will be able to donate new or used prom dresses. You'll be able to shop for a free dress. The donations must be left at the school by April 15th. For more information, contact Ms. Ainsworth or Ms. Lancaster. This is Rayleigh Odom signing out. Bulldog Track has hyped us up. Check out Destiny's hype video and Joe's sports update next. Hey there Bulldogs, we recently had the district track meet here at the high school, so let's take a look at what happened in the past week. Here's a list of some students that will be competing in the area meet. For the boys we have Chase and Winston, 800 meters and 1600 meters, both landing first place. Bryce and Deal, 400 meters first place. Jonah Robertson with 400 meters second place. Braylon Deal, 400 meters third place. Brennan Jones with the pole vote in third place. Zach Doyle with the pole vault in fourth place as well. And the 4x4 four four 400 with Braylon Deal, Bryson Deal, Jonah Robertson, and Chase and Winston coming in first place. And for the girls, we have in the 800s, Presley and Barraza, the 4x200s relay, Lord Seaton and Bayan, Alexia Lohman, Chyla Richardson, Camila Chu. For the 300 hurdles, we have Gabrielle Gear, Jacelyn Neighbors, and pole vault, Jacelyn Neighbors, Shelby Bowling. And finally, for the shot put, we have India Bankspray. Need credit recovery or just want to get ahead on credit? Edwin has summer school information. Advancement in summer school will be held in person with a teacher at Roy City High School. Sessions will have an AM or PM option. The first week will be Tuesday, Friday, and all other weeks will be Monday, Thursday. $120 per session per course. Up to two courses can be taken during each session, 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. Year-long courses for advancement cannot be completed in one session. Credit recovery. These classes will be through Ingenuity and will be at the student's own pace. Students will be required to take all tests at school during regular summer school hours. Deadline for all work is June 24, $60 per course per semester. Both sessions are required to earn credit for both semesters. Health, Professional Communications, Government, Economics, Art 1, Spanish 2, Earth Space Science, PE, English 4 are the available courses offered for advancement. Online payment must be done at the time of registration at www.schoolpay.com. Credit or debit payments. Love sports and love people? Sign up for Partner PE. James, tell us how. Are you interested in a career working with those with disabilities, wanting to gain some leadership experience, or maybe just wanting to become more inclusive? Then apply today for a Partner for PE. Partner for PE is a program that allows students with disabilities to have individualized physical instruction with the help of peers. Flyers are posted around campus with QR codes linking the application, or you can scan the QR code below. Apply directly or contact Coach Young for further details. Looking for a summer job? Nick has some tips. Hey Bulldogs, come with me to my job while I tell y'all why you should start applying for your own summer jobs. I'll even give you some tips on the way. So first of all, why should you start applying now? Well, it's already April, we basically have one month of school left. If you wait until the end of May when we let out, most of the jobs will have already been taken and then you're broke all summer. Secondly, starting early shows a good character, a sense of initiative, and a hardworking attitude, which all employers both love to see and are always looking for. Lastly, if you start applying now, you'll have more to choose from so you don't get stuck somewhere you hate for the next three months. So how should you start? Here's some tips. The best way to get a job is to have a link into the job. Your best friend works there, you had a brother who worked there before graduating, your parent's a frequent shopper and knows everyone, great start. Drop those names on applications or interviews and you'll look better to them. Trust me, that's how I got my first two jobs. Also, if you have a link, you'll know what they're looking for and when they're hiring. You don't need to make a whole fancy resume for a simple part-time job, but it's good to have an idea of what most employers will say if you make it to the interview. Research some common interview questions and plan out appropriate answers so you present yourself as collected and intelligent. Lastly, confidence, baby. No one's looking for a quiet, timid, little shy person to run a store. Be bold and believe in yourself. 
Now, you could also be thinking, well, why do I want a summer job? And the simple answer is, it's money. Yeah, everyone wants money, and summer is when everyone's going to go out to get food, go on trips, all sorts of fun stuff. All of that is going to cost you some money. No money, no funny, so get to it. That's all I got for you now, and I'll see you next time, Bulldogs. COVID vaccines are now open for teens. Jonathan has the inside scoop. The Department of State Health Services also released a new online tool today that could help you get the COVID-19 vaccine, an online scheduling portal. As summer approaches, a lot of people are going to be looking to get out of the house, especially after a year of quarantine. If you're one of those people, it is important to protect yourself. The last thing you want to happen is to be put back in quarantine or even hospitalized due to COVID. Thankfully, now you can get vaccinated in Rockwall if you are older than 16. Doses are limited, so make sure you sign up quick. The process is pretty simple, so let's walk through it. First, go to start.gogetvax.com. Enter your phone number and then the verification number sent to your phone. You'll be asked to enter some personal information, but nothing different than what you'd enter for, say, an SAT or ACT test. If there are enough available doses, you will select a time slot for both doses. They will be roughly three weeks apart. After that, you will receive a confirmation QR code along with dates and locations for your shot. Make sure to save this page or take a screenshot of this QR code because you'll need it when you get there. All in all, the whole process from signing up to getting your first shot can only take an hour. I was able to get my shot within 40 minutes of signing up. Make sure you have a healthy summer, Bulldogs. Looking for a new movie? Logan reviews The Fifth Element next. Hello Bulldogs, this week I have another movie review, this week it is The Fifth Element. The Fifth Element is about uh, this guy who's a cab driver who gets a lucky vacation win to go to some resort owned by this guy and along the way he ends up meeting uh, this girl who is apparently the savior of humanity aka The Fifth Element. She also looks like a hybrid of the animal from the Muppets and the Wendy's mascot uh, and then they have to go find these um, magic stones to save the world. Um, and yeah, so honestly, the movie isn't that bad. It came out in 1997, and frankly, I can't tell if this movie was meant to be a comedy or an actual serious thriller. Either way, it works well both ways. It's a extremely comedic, so it does very well as a comedy movie. Um, however, it was a serious movie. It has just like the right amounts of comedy in it that it's not like super serious. Um, also. The design is rather unique. It's not like they really had anything in, in mind. It almost just seems like, if it seems weird, abstract, but yet also scientific and outer space-like, just put it into the movie and somehow it worked. The uh, movie is a solid 7 out of 10. That's all for this week. This has been Zoe King Davis, signing out.